You never know what you might find when you are rehabbing an old home. In this case, it was much more than bad wallpaper. It was bees, lots <laughs> and lots of bees. There were two distinct options for what to do about the problem. Sean Lay shows us the solution. We're inside the home. Let me show you the crews working on this home, trying to save the home, find this new challenge in the back of the home. Look at this back window from top to bottom, from left to right. It's a beehive. These bees working away. You can see everything up close right here. And these guys did not want to wipe them out. They wanted to save these bees. And here's how they're doing it. This is our like 16th house that we're rehabbing. Daniel Claxton is saving his childhood neighborhood by rehabbing one home at a time. Beautifying the neighborhood. He never thought he'd also be saving bees. I was surprised. I, this is my first time ever seeing anything like this. And what's inside this latest rehab project has the neighborhood buzzing. And this is what we found. Contractor Leroy Etheridge discovered this. I said, we're going to be beezy up in here. <laughs> <laughs> an incredible bee colony in the rear window of the vacant home. Leroy put out feelers to have the hive removed. Everyone who responded said they'd kill the bees. I kept telling him, no, 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 I don't want to kill him. I want to relocate him to a beehive because I know how important it is to the ecosystem. Plus, this is amazing. Truly amazing to help. We called Detroit hives. <laughs> Timothy Paul Jackson and Nicole Lindsay carefully removed the colony to relocate them. It's okay, I'm leaning on my head. It's my head, it's on my head. So the bees' important work can continue. Yeah, it's definitely important because they're responsible for three-fourths of the foods that we eat today. So without our pollinators, like bees, butterflies, bats, and etc., you know, we won't we wouldn't have any of the fresh fruits and vegetables that we eat today. The bees moving out. There's a queen. There's the queen. Soon, a family will be moving in. We're saving what? Houses, bees, what are we saving? We're the saving community. Well done, guys. Hey, we checked on the bees today from Detroit Hives. They gave us an update saying they've been rehomed successfully and they are thriving just in time, Kimberly, for its World Honey Bee Day. World Honey Bee Day, the 20th, uh, uh, August 20th, Saturday. Also, being up against the window like that, watching them do their thing, Amazing, just love it. Actually. I couldn't believe it because I tell you that is not the decision I would have made if they were in my house. But they are smart, smart people. And uh, Sean, what a great story! We appreciate it. <laughs>